Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm going to give you guys my WWE SmackDown review for October 23rd, 2018. I'm just going to get right into it. We had the commentary team of Corey Graves, Tom Phillips, and Byron Saxton. And the show opened up with a promo from The New Day. They kind of talked about what happened to them last week on SmackDown 1000 with the big show turning heel on them. And they made fun of the big show. And then it led to the ball. Um, and the big show coming out, which I hear is going to be the faction name is going to be Showball, which will be weird. And we find out that at Crown Jewel, we're going to have a SmackDown Tag Team Championship rematch between two members of the New Day versus the Ball, which is going to have a New Day representative in their corner and the big show in the Ball's corner. And one of them, one member of New Day is going to face one member of Showball. And, um, Kofi Kinson goes and Showball plays mind games about which one's actually going to end up going in the win. But it ends up being Big Show versus Kofi. And Big Show just destroys him and lays him out with three choke slams. Eventually, Big E and Xavier Woods can't stand to watch it anymore, so they get to attack him. The ball attack the New Day. And Showball end up standing tall. I didn't, was not a fan of this segment. Then you had um, the Usos versus AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan. I liked this match a lot. I thought it was really good. And they did more teases with Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles, where AJ Styles accidentally laid out Daniel Bryan with the Pele kick. And one of the Usos hit a super kick on AJ Styles, and the other one laid him out with a splash off the top turnbuckle for the win. So the Usos won again, and Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles continuously not, uh, not getting the one. I like it. I'm really looking forward to their WWE title match at Crown Jewel, if it happens. And then it showed a, and then they did an interview where, um, they, where they argue about whether or not they really meant to hit each other. And I like this feud. I wish they would do something a little bit different though, instead of doing the typical baby face type of thing. But I still like it. Then they showed the Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair altercation from the Performance Center, where Charlotte Flair went to people from the Performance Center, and it was pretty much everybody that's in NXT right now and the Performance Center, which, whether that's from, it was pretty much anybody that had been um, in Seasons 1 and 2 of the Mae Young Classics, and um, one of the uh, Four Horsewomen, I don't remember exactly which one it is. Um, but Charlotte Flair was giving him advice about evolution and stuff, and Becky Lynch came up and talked trash to her, so it led to an altercation, Charlotte, and it had to be broken up. And then Charlotte Flair did like a bad promo about it. I thought that was pretty bad. But I'm looking forward to the match Sunday, actually. Um, I think they'll have a hell of a match. So, yeah. Then you had Rusev squash Aiden English. That was just sad. Poor Aiden English, rest in peace his career. So that was just really bad. And then we had Miz TV with Rey Mysterio. And the Miz talks crap to Rey Mysterio saying that, you know, Nobody cares to see the underdog storyline. They just want to see larger-than-life characters. And Rey Mysterio was disappointed that he wasn't on Truth TV. And Mysterio challenges him to a match. Miz um, cheap shots him. And they have a match. They had a really good match. Rey Mysterio wins with the 6 one 9 and the splash. But I thought the match was really good. And then we had the Empress in the Glow versus uh, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. And before the match starts... They did some hype for the historic women's battle royal buildup, where the, the Iconics came out, then it was Carmella, Lana, and then Carmella went to do like her dance break, and she got attacked from behind by Selena Vega, and everybody gets into a brawl, and Selena Vega thinks we, we, she, we're supposed to think she had stood tall, but then she gets attacked by Asuka, and Asuka stands tall. Whatever. I didn't care for this at all. I think the Battle Royale is a waste of time. So, yeah. And then Shane McMahon comes out and does um, a promo segment um, hyping up the World Cup. And everybody, you know, saying that the winner will be the best in the world. And everybody started doing CM Punk chant. And then Shane McMahon said, sorry, I don't, th I don't think he's in the tournament, which I thought was a great comeback. And then it led to the main event, uh, Randy Orton versus Jeff Hardy. Um, I thought they had a pretty good match. It was really tough to outdo the Hell in a Cell match, but it was still pretty good. 
Um, Jeff Hardy goes for the twist of fate, but Randy Orton counters into the RKO, and Randy Orton wins. Um, and then Randy Orton tried to whip off Jeff Hardy's ear again. I thought that was awesome. And that was SmackDown this week. But SmackDown was an all right show. I thought it was kind of a by the number show. It feels like WWE played this show safe because of the Roman Reigns situation and stuff like that, which they showed a video package of that, which I thought was awesome. Um, but that was pretty much SmackDown. And yeah, okay show. I'll give it a C. It was okay. Um, that's pretty much my uh, thoughts on SmackDown. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and share this video so people will watch it. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel for more content. And click on the bell. So that way, every time I upload a video, you guys get the no notifications for it. Make sure you guys do the same thing for my CM Brothers and all the Talkinator YouTube channels. And that's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later.